Look at soul, crazy in love's got me looking, got me looking so, look at soul, look at soul, drop it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, no, no. There was a bit of a glare, so I'm gonna try this again, just trying to see if I fix it. All right, hey, 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 yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm looking good. I'm doing everything, I'm doing good. Hey, I'm gonna stop it there. Y'all gotta pay for the rest if you want me to write a song for you. All right, one second. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> I come to you um, with a lot less money and good spirits. Hello everybody, my name is Felicia and welcome back to my channel today. Um, okay, so what had happened was I woke up and I was like, girl, I'm sick of your lips being crusty. Now, okay, crusty is not the right word, like dry. I'm sick of your lips being dry. So I went to Target and I was like, let me just go to Target, get my favorite lip balm because I can't find it anywhere else. And then we'll go. Then I got to Target and I decided to go to the more bougie Target because we have like two Targets. We have one in like the rich neighborhood and then one in like the not so rich neighborhood and the bougie Target has better stuff. So we were in the beauty aisle as ever, you know, just browsing around and I went um a little crazy so today i decided that i'm going to share what i got at target with you guys um yeah so please watch this because you know please i'm i'm i have no explanation as to why i spent that much money but I will show you what I got. I also am gonna include some things that I've ordered, um, you know, just because. Um, that's about it. Skincare is just my hobby. It is not my job. I am not a dermatologist, an esthetician, or a doctor. So if anything I say in this video is incorrect, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. All right, here we go. Let me just... Mm. and I got my new setup y'all are on my tripod I hope I'm in focus let me check and it was at this moment I realized I fucked up so um <laughs> I know I look a little bit of a mess I just woke up but I'm editing this video I'm editing this video and I've had the worst week with technical difficulties so the whole next clip after i unpaused and i pushed record again was in slow motion don't ask me how but i recorded in slow motion you know how on the iphone like you can record in slow motion i don't know how the hell i did it but i did um and i don't like how the footage looks at all it looks like i took like a bunch of pictures and put them together um and i don't want that for content so what I did was I have another thing of clips of where I filmed the haul and um, it was just close-ups of the product I'm gonna do picture in picture and I'm gonna be talking to you from here um, and yeah y'all this is a mess <laughs> but I'm really trying here so please give this video a like or give me some affirmations in the comments <laughs> So the first product that I'm going to be talking about is the Dr. Bronner's Lip Balm. Um, that's why I went to this Target in the very first place. Um, I can't find it anywhere else. I can find it online at Amazon, but you have to buy it in bulk. And I really, really, really love this lip balm. When I put it on, it almost looks like you're wearing gloss. 
And when you wake up in the morning, it's still there. Like it's still hydrating your lips and it makes your lips just look perfect. And um, I also so like to wear this underneath, like when I do any type of lip stick lip gloss anything I like to wear this underneath that it really prepares my lips and because it's peppermint it has that menthol leaf flavor flavor you're not supposed to eat it it has a menthol leaf feel to it where um it feels like it's cooling your lips so after your lips have been dry for a while and you put it on it feels really nice so Dr. Bronner's is a 10 out of 10 now we are going into the brand Versed. I have been wanting to try this brand from Target forever and the display was just super super cute um look at this packaging this packaging is super like millennial-esque it's right up my alley i love the pastel colors i love how dainty it is um i will say when i opened this bottle of hyaluronic acid it's a hyaluronic um booster drop or something it's a serum I was surprised at how small it was, but when I actually used the product for the first time, it was very watery and spread a far away. So just to let you know. Um, yeah, I haven't had a serum in forever and I really needed one. So that is why I bought this first product. Th that's it. I haven't tested it yet. I tested it like once or twice when you're seeing this video and so far I like it. Um, would I say it's revolutionary? Not yet. I have to see the results after... A couple weeks but I will be updating you guys in another video next from Burst, we have this shortcut overnight facial peel um, what a pack uh, what attracted me to this product <laughs> was definitely the packaging and um, the name shortcut and overnight um, I feel like after I use this product I'm gonna have like super glowy skin spoiler alert that did not happen but I've only used it once but I feel like it's a very um, subtle toner or a subtle um, treatment that will slowly exfoliate over time so it's probably a product that you want to use for like long periods of time they had a bigger size of this they had a one for twenty dollars but I was like I don't know how I feel about it let me just try it out so again I have to see results with this one before I give my stamp of approval but overall I like the experience the packaging and everything is super cute again um, I that's about it about so next we took a little gander at the little natural aisle versed is also a brand that's considered um clean beauty and natural but i went right next to it and i found honest beauty honest beauty is the brand that jessica alba um that's her brand um she also has honest products she has skincare makeup and i believe she has like baby products and stuff like that if you ever heard of the honest company so i was really intrigued by that i was just like you know what like what does jessica have to say to us what does jessica have to say to the common people and i've found some goodies um the first thing that we're gonna come up is their facial mist i was impressed by this because of the size if you remember in my other videos I recommended the pixie milky hydrating mist now that mist is expensive it works but it's expensive it's about $15 this big hydrating mist was only like $7 I was I was really shook and um, the formulas are pretty similar they definitely have different ingredients um, this one has a scent to it it has um, lavender in it so keep that in mind but um, to me it's a steal because you get like uh, you get, I believe, over one fluid ounce more in the Honest product than the Pixie product. Um, to me, it's just like a win situation, so I can't wait to use the bottle up. So next, I went to um, another product called the Magic Beauty Balm. I saw Jessica in a video use it all over her face. Really, anything goes. She said, it's your rules. Use it for what you want. I figured that it would be a product that would be very similar to my Glossier Future Do. Um, you just put it on the face where you want to look extra dewy. Now, I had Fenty um, blush on my face when I was testing this video. So I kind of just tested it um, on top of it. And I didn't really like it. It just wasn't as high shine as my Future Dew. My Future Dew is twice the price, yes. But um, it just wasn't my favorite. It didn't pack enough punch for me. Now, I will say this is a balm and not a liquid. They did have a liquid version and I bought the balm for heaven knows why. I guess since I saw Jessica use it, I was like, I figured I'd use it too. Um, the balm I'm gonna pass on. Even if I do use it again and I like it, the product was like 12-ish dollars and it's a little expensive for me to not like immediately love it. 
So now we move on to e.l.f., one of my favorite places to shop. I bought my ring light from it. I don't know if y'all know, but I film with a little ring light. And um, I've bought like all my glosses originally from it. All my makeup products, not skincare, but makeup products I buy from e.l.f. Very good brand, cruelty free, vegan if that's important to you. Um, they do a lot of amazing things at a really affordable price. And I really appreciate the company for that. So go e.l.f., go you. So the first product that I bought from e.l.f. was um, a blue eyeshadow. Um, I don't know the name. The name will be on the screen. But it's like a blue like liquid eyeshadow that's supposed to be a dupe for Stila. I know it's a dupe for Stila because the component is exactly the same. I'm sure Stila's is made out of metal and not plastic. But um, that's what it reminded me of. When I swatched it, it was pretty opaque. Um, it had a little bit of a streak to it, but I feel like with a couple of layers and a little maneuvering, um, I feel like it would work out. I never really wear eyeshadow. I've never done a full face of makeup before. So I'm just trying to like slowly dip my toes in and experiment into makeup um, other than gloss and um, highlighter and blush. You know, so now after we got to the complexion products, I'm going to slowly step into eyeshadow. And I think e.l.f. is a great place to start. They had a bunch of different colors, too. I just grabbed the dark blue because I have a blue Fenty liner that I'll show later. So next, it's no surprise that I had to buy a lip gloss when I went to the store. So I bought this lip gloss. It's called the Lip Lacquer. I don't know what shade it is. I'll have it in the description box. By the way, if you didn't know, I put little goodies in the description box, so be sure you're reading it. But besides the point, I got this um, coppery bronze, um, bronze gold um, gloss, and it has pink reflex in it, pink and gold reflex in it. Um, it's really pretty. I've already used their lip lacquer before. Um, I use their clear lip lacquer over liner all the time, and I also use a purple lip lacquer that looks like a plum shade. Um, they're super cheap. They're $3. I pick one up every time like I pick up my NYX Butter Glosses. It's just another staple in my collection. So last but not least from e.l.f. I bought one more lip product. This is called the Sheer Slick. Sheer Slick? Just the Sheer Slick in um, the shade Orange. Um, I wanted to become an orange girl. I feel like orange is such a flattering color on dark skin. So um, I wanted to try something very um, light and open light and opaque light and sheer <laughs> so I can put a gloss on top just put it on and throw it out throw it on when I'm going out um it's very soft and very balmy so if you like that type of thing I really recommend this it was only five dollars um I would like to note that Honest had a product that was very similar component was the same and everything but it was less the Honest one was nine dollars and this one was five dollars we're on that budget, and Elf just knows what to do when it comes to the budget. So, um, I would recommend this product. I've worn it a couple times since this video has been filmed. I'm not wearing it today, but I wore it yesterday and the day before, and I loved it um, so much. Um, yeah, Elf, you you did it again. Okay guys, and that concludes all the products I have bought from Target. I bought a couple other things online, and um, you know, they're coming. They're all in the mail right now, snail mail. Um, so I will save those for another video so you can see the products in front of you and, you know, all that jazz. But I'm going to go ahead and do my outro. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please leave a comment down below letting me know. Leave a like on this video. Hit that bell. Hit that subscribe button. All of that jazz. Let me know last time you went crazy in Target or any store and what you bought in the comments down below. Questions, comments, and concerns are always welcome down below in the comment box. My name is Felicia and I'm saying bye for now. Bye guys! The back of it says anything goes, it's your rules, you use it for anything. So, did y'all see that? Just so the record shows I am not crazy, that was a bug that I just killed. Um, 